pictures. Um, this is slightly different to usual because what I'm trying to do is show you slightly behind the scenes of, well, of Lady Night's Light. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to show you how I do my, um, my Robin behind the scenes and well I'm just trying to start my party up so we can get this show on the road here. Party started. I'm going to turn the volume down. So basically what happens is if you do parties you know you've got to like wait six seconds so that everybody gets to choose the one they want because if you just rush in there cops are going to be full and the robbers. But I think you get the drift don't you when you do public parties. Oh no I wanted to be the cop. And you got to wait. So I'll follow that rule. So here we go. I'm now going to push Feminine, Feminine, fe uh, second one earlier because she lost it, right? Now, as you can see, what I do is I have one Rob in the bank and then I used to have one here in the mouth and one in the mansion. But when it's time to collect the gems from them, I left the bank and I had to drive to the mansion and the mouth. So now what I tend to do is I keep them both here. As you can see, there's over there, well, looks like, can't get to see who that is over there, but I can tell you now, I'm about to press this one, and lo and behold, I've got golden diamonds over there in that one, and Swan Warrior is just robbed. Now, over here, I've got Madame... Lady Knight. Now she's um over there. Obviously you can't see her name. Now usually I'd be robbing the bank, but I couldn't film that uh at the same time because uh filming on this phone is easier than the other phone. So that's why I'm not filming with Lady Name's character Lady Knight's character. What I'm hoping this will do is open up because then I can go over and uh say hello. But what I'm gonna do is although you can't see them Swan Warrior is waving to you, and look, let's get Lady Knight to wave to prove she is in the game. Uh, there she goes. Yep, and they're both waving. I can see their emojis on my phone screen, so they've got three, obviously. I'm really hoping that this opens up soon now. This is um basically, if I go in here, you can see I'm building up the collection now. I've been trying to work on this to build them all back up because I've given so much stuff away. I've got to start kicking out my chests again to help you all. And she needs to stop waving. And you notice that the emojis and you press something, they're like laughing and whatever they're doing with the emoji for quite a while. So I think she stopped doing that. So have you. Right. So now, yeah. So, uh, Spawn Warriors inventory is 14 emeralds, 52 golds, and 8 diamonds. Lady Knight's just started robbing hers because um, I've been a bit busy today, so I'm just getting around to it now. But yes, 12 golds, 2 emeralds and a diamond. So what'll happen is, um, usually I collect all the stuff, and then I give it to, uh, say I give it to Swan, and then um, he can then pass it over to the character on my other phone, which is usually going to be Lady Knight or Lady Excalibur. So they're the two to look for if you want some stash. Now, uh, just waiting for this to open up, but... Now, I know the etiquette, whatever it's called, because I, I'm i not going to say names, but I'm going to give a shout out to, yeah, over the weekend, you, you know who you are, you two, so, uh, yeah, they really are awesome friends to have, and little bond going or something, because I just can't say too much about them, but yeah, you got, you got whatever, you got great and stuff for helping me out so much, and I'm so used to giving that when I receive like that, it's like, what? And I find it difficult to like, oh, but I want to help you guys and that you're helping me. And then I kind of feel guilty probably because I can do all this stuff for myself. But on the other hand, it really is amazing to know that they're thinking of me too. And thank you guys so much. Um, You ever get this dilemma when you like, someone wants to like, get you and they're not really your friends and they become your friend and then they... Okay, I love the helping, but it's a little terror. I came in and it's like, I think you've got Swan twice. So it's like, 38, I think she is. And it's like, and then he wants to get me a little bit more afterwards when I've gone up. And I say, well, wait till I get to 50k. 
but then I think it will have helped you enough. Oh, I can get out now. Yay! And I need to divide my, um, oh, make a bit of noise there. That's me running around. And I think, well, I kind of have to help him out. I want to help so many other cops out too. And look who we've met. There she is. There's this one, Warrior 333, and there's Lady Knight. Now, this little madam, she was the one that managed to, um, yeah, she managed to get a lucky clip of three and a half million one in the lava mortar. It was pure, pure luck. I don't know how. Um, but lost it in the start film. We just got him, but that's life. Um, we've all had problems like that, but we're not going to be defeated by lava mortar. We just have to kit ourselves out in five games because otherwise we can't get to buy anything. The merchants are blocked off, but anyway, that. It's not really want to talk about too much the lava and the water issues and I did get lucky over the weekend. I managed to get in a server twice without lava and water. But none of the names are in there and I left the game to come back as a cop and ended up in a um yeah, as a cop in a safe game with no water and lava, but there wasn't names in there I knew. But in the other game there was. Anyway, um so basically what the story is, yeah. So she stays in there and robs. And then later that will start robbing the bank again um, as soon as possible. And I'm currently playing as Knight Defender. So what I'm going to do is get little Knight Defender. There you go. Knight Defender. Don't know but yeah, this is Knight Defender. So that's the highest one of these three. But I've got the other account which is higher. But I'm st I am really don't want to lose that. Just keep... The list is waiting up. People have promised to get that one. So scared that by the time he gets the rest, I'm going to miss out. And I don't really want to lose the bounty or something rather, but I'm going to give it at some point, I know, but it's just you never need a thought of you losing that. And it's really hard getting to a million, even for me with three pounds, because I keep having to spread out and do so much other stuff on here, in real life, whatever. So basically what happens is afterwards, this will open up, I go in there and I do the bank hack, so I rob, exit, rob, and then try and get loads more stash and I had the chance to rob them but I think I did. Anyway guys so basically the behind the scenes of what I do and I have to say I did get behind over the weekend because I got so many I mean yesterday was chuckle block all day long waiting for someone to play him. Party even invites mostly to jailbreak private games here and there. A few games like Bed Wars which I end up in oh, okay. I don't really want to join that. Bed Wars is cool but unless I get a name of a really good friend or one of my top ones or something like that, then I tend to avoid going and I get someone said, Oh, you never join party games. Well, I don't want to lose my place as a cop, or I don't really want to play that game, or I've got to stop playing for a while and come offline, so it's hardly worth joining your game. But um, generally, in some of the games, are like, Oh, there's this one you stand there, you can run somewhere and choose the one you want to be in, and there's no, um, they're not my. They're not games like I prefer fighting games like this. I mean, bullets flies okay, but only go into if I get a little party invite, riding a camel or something. Um, but yeah, this is basically what I do. So I'll basically push exit, rejoin, wait till all shop is felony, push all felony, and then I rob the bank. And the two bolts here, my three characters, and then I place all the jewels onto uh, Lady Not Lady Excalibur. And I think I've had to pass them over to somebody else because those chests are getting quite full with all the help I've been getting and robbing in between. But yeah, I've um I did give out so much stuff to help out. And I this morning I helped a little cop out with some I was coming in as white knight and all I had was like health points. I went to the merchant to buy some bombs just to spit around the town, just to help it out, you know, make it fair for cops, criminals, whatever. And Oh, the merchant, I couldn't even get anything. So the only way to get stuff now really is to do private games, stock up while you can. And then um, I do my bit and help people out. I keep some bits back for myself, obviously, because otherwise there's no point in me playing, no offence, but yeah. Um, but I do like to share a lot now. This one hasn't got armour on because she's not really playing for the minute. She might come out of the pot, but generally she's staying in there, keeps dashing. And then, like I said, this one's going to go over there and then start. Yeah, later on I'll wait so I can start and worry about that. But I'm getting there and then Lady Knight will go off to the back and then she'll be doing that. that. Sometimes, yeah, I do spawn kill my own cops. I get like those, so usually it's, um, yeah, I usually have the two commanders and then I uh, spawn kill them. But I don't like doing that because I've got nothing to show for it. And I like to sort of do both and both so that way I've got some gems from Robin. 
and then your bounty goes a bit high with the clock killing my spawning in but I prefer to do the the uh, exit well exit hack because then at least got something to show for it and yeah what's gotten is um is when you like to what's it um when you want to help as many people as you can from the bounty getting higher and I and you come out and I could be like one that's like 30 and and I thought I'll be okay if Watch a few ads here and there, help a few cops out. And uh, there's always that one cop that decides to use a sniper gun on you and you're back in jail straight away. So one cop literally got 30 grand off Lady Night as soon as she spawned the game, ready to help out a few cops here and there, watching ads. But now that one person has a sniper gun, one player, poof, she's back in jail just like that. It's like, but how am I supposed to be getting finding officers, you know, or even friends I knew just to, nah, sniper gun, poof, you're back in, there, nah, he's got him. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it for now then, guys. Because um, when I've come off here, I'm going to then re uh, get these three back online. And I'm going to get Lady Knight over to the bank. So she can start doing some more robbing. And then this one, Knight Defender, is going to go in here. And she's going to do the join the team there with uh, <laughs> three robbers. And um, get all that sorted out. And then tonight... Later on when I can get back on there properly. Ooh, yeah. Start sharing stuff. Now, obviously it has to be done in private games if you want to stop the money up because you can't cash it in at the market. Oh, basically, oh, gosh, you, can you do anything on there? Okay, lucky last night I got a couple of felonies, but one I kind of, when I was just thinking of a private party where it was kind of a range, or uh, I won't say the name, but we called a truce as far as I know, jumping up and down and then poof. So got me after that, so I thought, well, that's it, mate. Poof, next time I see you, saw my chance, she's on the wall, bang. Boom, yeah. Oh, <laughs> God, I shouldn't have done that, excuse me, but I did, I couldn't help it. It was too tempting not to get revenge. But it's a game, it's a nice way. If you need any help, she can always ask me, she knows that. As far as I'm concerned, I called the truce and she fired first. So, you know, that's the way it goes. Anyway, um, that's it for now. Those two being a little bit like... Yeah, they want to get on with stuff. Well, okay, so do I. So I think we're going to have... Lady Knight's going to turn around and wave to the camera the best she can. And then just stop us from waving, otherwise she'll just be going on all the time. You know how it is. So she has to walk. And then I'm just going to get Swan to get a little bit nearer. So she can say goodbye to... I'm going to wave goodbye, Miss Swan. Yeah, now uh, he's uh, she's a girl, but basically she was named after the actor from the movie that I love. And I just exited her because she's obviously coming off line. So it's like one, and then one last look at Lady Night before she comes back on duty. There she is, and so now Night Defender will be saying the same. So don't know how all this video is going to turn out. Hope it's not as glitchy as the the other phone because it's just how they pick up the glip app yeah so this one's gonna hang around there later on i'm just gonna get back in here she's gonna go back in there and uh, basically well i'll see you when i see you guys and um look for uh, me lady not lady together because they're the ones that's kitted out to help cops criminals to like do my best with you guys and again big shout out to you know who you are Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, there's heroes everywhere. Thank you, guys. All the best for now. Stay safe as you can. Um, keep looking for clues on how to survive lava because I saw one and I just ate health points as I ran through. Big shout out to um, Sai for his YouTube channel. He seems to be short with him that I saw how to survive through the lava. Yeah, anyway, case, case all that out and uh, etc. So until then, next time, you stay safe. It's one a hell of a boom town.